Tech TV, Experience Educational Television. Business school. <laughs> Nana Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, we are privileged to be addressed by Miss Audrey Sewa Osu Jamra. <laughs> she is graduating first class with the highest CWA of 81.43. Chairman of Council, Registrar. Provost of the College of Humanities and Social Sciences, Provost of Colleges Present, College Registrar, and the Faculty of the College of Humanities and Social Sciences, Special Guests of Honor, Invited Dignitaries, Parents, Members of the Media, Fellow Graduates, Ladies and Gentlemen. Today marks a turning point in our lives. We have spent the past years wandering the halls of this great university and it is now time to move on, even if unwillingly. We have learned, laughed, quarreled, got into trouble together, and most of all, matured together. However, this day is not only about reminiscing the past, but also looking forward into the future. Nana Chairman, with your permission, I invite the Registrar of the College, Mr. Ebenezer Tete Oteku, to introduce a motivational speaker. Mr. Chairman, the speaker is the managing director of Bicec Limans, Ghana Limited, Mr. Samuel Ahinkra. I'm hoping that in five years time from now, when you have left this great wall of this institution, if you do not remember anything that is being said today, then we haven't made any impact. And probably whatever I've come to share with you hasn't made any impact on you. I encourage you all to take it up, move on, and see that it works. Thank you very much. Graduation ceremonies are meant for two important things. One, to take a report on the activities of the academic year ending in the graduation. And the second other important part is a conferment of degrees on deserving students. Nana Chairman, this afternoon we've met at the second session and we are ready to take a report from the Provost of the College of Humanities and Social Sciences, a report that he presents to council and congregation. With your permission, Anna Chairman, I invite the Provost, Professor Imuru Braima, to present his report. It is my pleasure to present to you the 53rd Congregation Report of the College of Humanities and Social Sciences. On behalf of the Vice Chancellor and members of convocation and the College I welcome you all to this congregation. This is the second session of the 53rd Congregation of the University. This afternoon, the college is presenting graduates who pursued various programs of study leading to the award of degrees in business administration, economics, history, political studies, culture and tourism, and religious studies. On this occasion, the college is presenting a total of 1,608 graduates, made up of 47% males and 53% females. Out of the total of 1,608 graduates, 274, or 18%, are postgraduates. Mr. Chairman, the quality of our graduates has been improving over the years. This year, we are presenting as many as 248 graduates with first class. <laughs> this is about 18% of those graduating. Last year, it was 14%, and the year after, it was 11%. So we're making progress. <laughs> as many as 699, or 52%, obtain second class upper by the powers conferred on me as chairman 
of the Governing Council of the University of I, Ambassador Nana Ifarapinti, formally admit you to the respective degrees of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Kumasi, College of Humanities and Social Sciences. Aiko. Afankwa Jacqueline, Ajay Fajwo, Edu Akosia Ahema, Anochi Bernard Enchi, Anuma Ethel, Esia Manda Mafua, Echampon Stephanie, Adiku Jo Doji Jr., Edu Francis, Ampafu Ejapon Ekuya Boafua. Shall we please now rise for the closing prayer? to be said by Reverend Dr. Echampon, Protestant chaplain. Almighty and everlasting God, indeed you are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. We continue to give you praise and thanks for beginning this program with us and seeing us through it successfully. At this time, we join with these sons and daughters of yours and their families to express our appreciation to you for your goodness and your mercies, your provision and all that, Lord, you made av available to enable them go through this period of education and formation. The journey has been rough and smooth at times, but through it all, this is how far you have brought them. So, Lord, we thank you. Even as, by your grace, they have come this far, we commend them to you. That continue to fill them with your spirit, the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of knowledge, the spirit of the fear of God, the spirit of courage. May you guide and direct their path so that the investment that has been made in them Lord, will go a long way to promote life and bring peace and harmony in this world. We thank you for their families. We thank you for the lecturers. We thank you for all who contributed in one way or the other to bringing them this far. Lord, bless all of us and bless this great university. As we are about to disperse from here, we commend ourselves to you that you carry all of us safely on your eagle wings to our various destinations so that you continue to have cause to honor you for all that you have done and you continue to do for us. This and many more blessings do we ask through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen.